Good morning, class. Today we're going to be finishing our Angry Birds, or doing the painting at least. We might have one more day of finishing touches. Um, but first you want to finish drawing it. So if you haven't quite finished drawing your one, two, three, four, five, six at least Angry Birds, that is your first step to continue on with pencil until you've finished all of your birds. And I don't want to just see plain old birds. Add some details, put some little, give them some personality so that they're your angry birds and not just anybody's birds. The first step, what we're going to do when you are done with your pencil for today is going to be watercoloring. Now some of you had mentioned you're kind of nervous about watercoloring and that's okay. If you really um, would like to stick mostly with colored pencils. Colored pencils are the other thing we're going to use today. Um, you can use primarily colored pencils, uh, but most of us, I think, are pretty excited about using watercolor. I know I am. So I have my bucket of water, I have my watercolors, and I have my piece. So I'm going to start painting my first Angry Bird the color that starts with R, because I'm thinking of Roy G. Biv. And the first letter in Roy G. Biv is R. So that means my first color in the rainbow is red. So I've gotten my brush wet, wiping it, wiping it on the edge, gently, not tapping. Going to get that little bit of water in there. It looks like it might need a little bit more water, so I'm going to just dip it back in there, wipe it on the edge. Oh, and that looks really nice. There we go. Now I'm going to paint my first Angry Bird. I'm doing this nice and carefully. And I might not paint all of this hair and stuff, everything. I think I'm going to go back with my colored pencils um, and do that part. So I'm being very gentle. I think that's pretty good. Try to stay within my lines. We'll be having using Sharpie the next day. So if you would like to use Sharpie, if you get out of the lines, Sharpie's pretty good at covering up those out of the lines. So I've done my red. Maybe I'll make her tail red too. I think she needs a red tail. I'm going to try to make this a little bit darker red. And I'm going to make it darker by getting thicker paint and having less water on my brush. So look how dark that red is. Oof, down. It's by not dipping my brush in the water as much, I'm able to make this a lot darker. If I thought that maybe her color was too light, she looks kind of pink. I could do another layer of red, but I think I like that color, so I'm going to let it be. Notice I wasn't quite perfect. I got out of the lines up there, but it's pretty good enough for me. I'm going to take my brush, rubbing it at the bottom of there, rub it against the side to get off that water. Didn't even hear my brush at all, could you? Mostly. Getting this water in here now. My second color, as you see, I've already kind of figured out, Roy G. Biv, R-O, so my second color is orange in the rainbow. So I'm going to paint my second one orange. Notice I'm being very nice to my brush. I'm not jabbing straight down. That makes my bristles very unhappy. Notice on the poster on my wall what you, a happy brush looks like. Maybe I'm going to go over my eyebrow here. I'm... This is so little, it's hard to paint in this little space. Remember, we can always fix any mistakes we have with our pencils or our Sharpies. If you get a little bit outside the line, that's okay. We can always add a background, cover it up, it'll be good. Roy G. Biv, R-O-Y. Y is for yellow. And look, isn't this nice? It's kind of in the order of the rainbow already. Isn't that nice, watercolor makers? You made it in the rainbow for us already. So I'm going to paint this big guy yellow. I think you guys kind of get the idea. You can paint all of him yellow. I could paint this whole thing yellow if I wanted to, and then go back in detail, maybe get some white water or pencils and then color where the eyes are because I like I like having the whites of the eyes white. I could color my whole circle in, that's okay. 
I'm gonna quickly get the rest of this done. Notice I'm always cleaning my brush before I switch colors. for green. Biv is this blue. Gonna get his little wings. I don't want his wings to be in that color. Notice I've gotten a little bit out of the lines, but that's okay. And the last one is Biv. I usually have I, but I'm not gonna worry about indigo because indigo is not one of my primary or secondary colors. So I'm just gonna do violet. Violet, which is also purple. I'm gonna paint my cute little bird purple. Ooh, she's a dark purple girl bird. So dark because I don't have as much water in there, this one. I'm not gonna go over the eye. I wanna leave that. I think I'm gonna have to do some Sharpie details on her because this is so dark. It's covering up all my pencil. All right, looks pretty. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So I've got all of my birds painted. Now I can add other details with paint if I want to, but I think mostly the best other details can be done with my pencils. So I can go in, color my beak, other areas I haven't colored, maybe I can color a background. Be careful with the areas that are still wet. Mm, my green one's a little bit wet still. I'm going to wait to let that dry. I can blow on it. Help it dry a little bit faster. You can see my purple one's really wet, so I'm not even gonna touch her yet. But maybe go back to my red one, because my red one's probably the driest, and do little details, like I like my orange beaks. I think their beaks are all mostly orange. And see, sometimes you get smudges, but that's okay. We said oopses are okay, right? So I'm gonna maybe make these orange smudges into red flowers. And that orange is the middle of my flowers. So maybe I'll have flowers down here. Maybe I'll do some flowers over here. I can take my pencils. And if it's, oh dear, look at this pencil. It's pretty dull. So if I'm looking through my pencils, and I can't find another good green, that one's not very good, this one's not very good, then I'm going to hold my pencil in the air. Bing! Pencils in the air. And I'm going to wait for one of the minions to come and sharpen it for me, okay? And then I can keep on working. While my minion's sharpening this, they're taking my pencil, they're sharpening it. I'm going to work on something else. I'm going to add some more flowers and keep on working and not just talk and get into trouble. No, no, no. Maybe I'll add some. Hmm. Might get a crayon for that one. If you need a white crayon, let me know. You can add, maybe I'll make a darker belly. That's kind of cool. All right, and you just keep on working on your birds. Add whatever details you would like. And we'll see how far we get. Alright. Sounds good. Get going.